I feel like I've grown really tired of hallucination scenes right now. If I really love the character, then sure, I can sit through and watch their subconscious replay itself. But with Alicia, where every line she says now is some ambiguous, irritating attempt at being profound, I don't care to watch 40 minutes of her having these visions. This episode was essentially a rebirth and actually a dismissal of the nuke storyline, the Fallout Zone stuff. A lot of these season 7 episodes have been good, but obviously in the second half, just not up to standards. I'm not gonna go! You have to go! I'm not gonna go! You have to go! There was actually some meaning behind it though. I mean, she passed out and all of a sudden is recovered from her illness. She's kind of still in her subconscious and she still saw the younger version of herself right in front of her when she was allegedly healed. I just don't like it anymore when fear tries so hard to be profound and spiritual and meaningful. After that beer hot air balloon thing, you can forget it. I want to look up. You got enough to clear the trees, get to the other side? No, not here. It's not safe. It's contaminated. But the most important thing about this episode is not only when it heals Alicia essentially, the reawakening, she's better now. She walks off a new and improved Alicia. But what we also saw was her younger self show she was bitten too. But the way Alicia saw her younger self was she didn't cut the arm off. She was just a bitten. It didn't turn her. How would you know? Because I was bit too. And I'm still here. The showrunners will allow you to think Alicia's actually immune, yet indirectly tell you she's recovering from some other virus. Now with Scott Gimble overseeing Fear the Walking Dead and all the shows and projects in The Walking Dead, actually he's seen as a, the Walking Dead boss, we can connect it to other things that we've seen with hallucinations, Rick Grimes, and even Jim in season one. These Walking Dead characters have seen the future in their hallucinations. I mean, I said that when I first started YouTube, when one of my viewers, Toby Farrant, reached out and said, wait a minute, that city Rick saw, we haven't seen that before. I best believe a few months later, in the July of 2019, it was revealed Rick is indeed in that city. It wasn't Atlanta, it wasn't New York, this was Philadelphia. In season one, Jim had a bad dream and started digging graves for some unknown reason. Did you head in the channel, Jim? What's Jim, do you know why you were digging? Something I dreamt last night. Hours later. I remember my dream now, why I dug the holes. And again, with fear being so much more connected to The Walking Dead now, with characters hallucinating and having visions, we can actually believe they have a deeper meaning now. But Alicia, ever since she was bit, has seen herself as a walker. She saw her own arm as a walker arm. But the biggest thing yet is when her younger self reveals she was bitten but did not cut off the arm. It was just a healed over bite. It's like Ellie in The Last of Us. That was before she even figured out that girl was her younger self. That's why she was seeing her. So it's not like Alicia was lucidly seeing herself knowing that this girl was her, seeing it as some analogy for how she survived her walker bite. This was her subconscious actually saying, wait, that, that bite you got didn't kill you. And as we've seen, she seemingly survived that illness she had. I saw people in my Discord server were saying, wait a minute, so she just woke up and was better, just like that. You were near death a few hours ago, but you wake up and you, you just better. This rebirth of Alicia actually showed that she died in this episode, but she came back. And I know previously I've said it must be irritating to hear that she's immune, it's a silly idea. They would never do that in The Walking Dead. What this episode did was show you that, believe it or not, even with some big nuclear submarine storyline, fear, and well, actually all Walking Dead shows have stayed realistically grounded. So Alicia being immune doesn't mean she's gonna be like a dying light protagonist. <laughs> If 
anyone's going to do something crazy like that is going to be Rick Grimes. What I think we've seen, if anything, is Alicia has just survived a walker bite. Did she get ill from literally any other virus? Of course she could have. But the way they're doing it, the way that I've seen the narrative is in fear, is that they are 100% following the idea, the possibility that she is indeed immune. The way she woke up after being so sick. Where she subconsciously, before even knowing this little girl was her, saw that she survived a bite. It was a lot like Rick's final episode in season 9, episode 5 of The Walking Dead. She's just a lot more important now. We're gonna see Rick again, we're gonna see Michonne again, we're gonna see Alicia again. Even if season 8 happens to be the last fear season, they're gonna go off into other stuff, which I think is really cool. The CRM and Rick Grimes is the next thing. They are looking for a cure. So when Alicia inevitably comes into contact with the CRM and she speaks, of that experience she once had of getting bit and was sick for a bit but survived it. Whether she really is immune or not, they're going to be interested in what saved her from that. Maybe it was being exposed to the radiation like she was. Maybe that's what they'd need to get to have someone survive turning. Nuking Texas like fear did is such a big deal but it's now full of radiation. If Alicia says that's what she thinks helped her survive it, they're simply going to start to use radiation, maybe even to their experiment victims. Maybe even nuking other places. There has been talk that this was her final episode on Fear the Walking Dead. I don't care who comes out and says that's the case. Like I said in my previous video, I don't think they're so tied down to their titles now. It is a lot like any other cinematic universe. In the same way that Rick and Michonne leaving the main show doesn't mean they're done forever. These characters will just pop up in other projects. Fear being filmed in Georgia now in season 8. What's stopping literally any surviving main show character from just popping over to Fear? Because they already film in Georgia. What do you think? Do you think Alicia could actually be immune? Was this just Fear's clumsy way of misleading you into thinking she is immune? But in actuality, it was some reckless way of saying she's just going to survive her illness. A way of reminding Alicia that she survived and will survive something that should have killed her as a reason to go on. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Of course, press the like button if you enjoyed the video. In a few seconds, my other videos will pop up, so make sure you go and check them out. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. I will see you again.